Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy Friday afternoon. Hope you're well, hope you've looked after yourself this week and you're looking forward to a, a pretty good weekend of football, starting with the 12.30 kickoff of Liverpool City. That'll be a, that'll be a class game. Um, I will have a Villa Spurs preview out tonight. So, you know, there's some, there's some interesting news that came out from Ange's uh, comments today. So we'll be talking about them as well in the other video. Not, not for this one. To give you an idea of this one, we're talking a little bit around Richarlison and that Saudi Arabia interest. It kind of have, it's kind of sparked up again, and potentially Richarlison's a lot more open to it now. Uh, we have a reignition of interest into a PSV winger, as well as a small, very small update around Sebastian Caceres, the Club Football America centre half. So plenty to get into, plenty to talk about. If you're new, hit me with a subscribe. That'd be very much appreciated. Thank you. And let's jump in. Let's talk Richarlison. So uh, this came from Sport Witness. <clears throat> it's a Richarlison. Uh, so from Brazil, the Tottenham player is, quote, li uh, likely willing to accept the offer to leave in January. Uh, if Supposedly, he doesn't feel attached to the London club, which, look, I, 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 I get it to a degree. At Everton, he was, and at Watford, I'd probably say, he was like a cult hero. He was the big fish in a small pond. He's come to Spurs, and we, you know, I've talked about it before. He was supposed to be the heir to the Harry Kane throne when Harry Kane was moved on, because they kind of planned the summer that they bought Richarlison at, look, this might be Harry Kane's last season. He's not signing a new contract right now. We know big clubs will be in there, and we're probably looking to cash in on him, right? So he came in for that season. He was injured a lot. He didn't really get going. Um, he had some really good flurries off the bench when he was fit, you know, getting a few assists here and there to Kane and things like that. Obviously, you know, the Marseille game was obviously, probably, I'd probably say one of his better games with the goals that he scored. But <clears throat> I think it's fair to say it's not worked out. It doesn't mean it can't work out, but I say so far it hasn't worked out. And, you know, when you think of, what Spurs need, and I talk about this with how Spurs need probably 12 to 15 new players, if I'm honest. You know, moving players out the door, bringing players in, all those things involved. I'm not going to go through who I think I should go or anything like that. I'm just saying, you sitting there on the other side of this, and I know some of you tell me, some of you might not tell me, you know, some of you might think I look like an idiot. I'm not going to deny it. But does Richardson suit Ange? And what I mean by that is, does Richarlison as a left winger or as a striker suit what Ange is trying to do? I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna veer to the side of no. No, I you know, and I, I've always been really fair in this. I've always thought Dyer could be a decent mid-table centre half in the Premier League. I think Pierre Hoiberg is a really good centre defensive mid, but doesn't suit Ange's style of play. It's the same with Richarlison. I think Richarlison's a good player. There's no there's no doubt in that. We have evidence of years of play at Watford and Everton to know that he's a good player, to know that he is a Premier League proven player. But it just hasn't really gone the way that we all expected it to go. You know, we spent big money on the player. You know, what is it, five goals and over 40 games. It's not really been bang for your buck. Now, when we talk about Saudi Arabia, look, wages-wise, not an issue. He's probably going to get trebled or quadrupled his wages in Saudi Arabia, right? He, I'd probably say he's going to have a lot of Brazilian players out there from January and next summer onwards. You think Neymar's already there, Casemiro's linked there, Anderson Taliska's there. There's there's loads. That's ball, that's ball knowledge and you're impressed. I know you are. You're welcome. But he, for speaking on Spurs' front actually, we know we're going to get the wages sorted. So it's not going to be an issue where we go, oh, we'll have to pay 25% of his wages because the other team can't afford it. We know Saudi Arabia are going to say, no, no, we'll pay for it all. We're going to quadruple his wages anyway. So don't worry about it, lads. The fee. That's the key thing. Now, he's he's not old. He's, we're not talking about a player that is 32, 33. And, you know, we're talking about numbers where they're, they're linked to like Ericsson and they're linked to Casemiro and they're looking to buy them for 20 to 30 million potentially. Well, they'll look at Richardson going, well, you've got him in for an extra five or six years on them. 40 million. I don't see it being unreasonable because you know, Saudi overpay for every player. Now, if, I, if we're talking about in Europe, I don't think you get 40 million. But for Saudi, I think you would. And I think we might have to just cut losses on this one and kind of say that we're not going to get any better than that ever. Let's get the money now and let's take it 
and reinvest it properly. You know, maybe we go, because I've talked about this, maybe we go, look, we're going to get a couple of cent halves because we've got the money to do it now. You know, we're going to spend all of that 40 million on two cent halves, which I'll tell you what, a lot of Spurs fans would go, yeah, not a problem. Thanks very much, mate. That That's a good use of money. And I think that's a good use of money to get two cent halves. Because in that way, if you look at it, you kind of go, well, look, cent half sorted now. We move Dyer out. We move, you know, Davies, I think, will be gone in the summer. But we move these guys out. We're sorted at centre half. We don't have to worry about it for another year or two, which is what we should do. You could still look at a loan and option to buy in the summer, an obligation to buy in the summer, a la Kulisevsky, a la Pedro Porro, but for the left wing position. Potential. Because when I talk about the left wing position, or a winger position as a whole, I've got a very, very exciting bit of news for you. And this is the PSV, PSV winger I was talking about. And it came from uh, Lyle Thomas of Sky Sports, who said that Tottenham have an interest in PSV winger Johan Bakayoko. Now, I'm excited by it because one, he's got a, he's got an unreal name. And you know I like a good footballer's name. But he was a player that we were linked to briefly in the summer. We know Brentford were really hot on him in the summer. And they, I think they had a bit of about £30 million, pounds, but PSV wanted about 38 to 40 right? <laughs> They're probably going to want something similar, maybe even a little bit more about that, because when I go through his stats, you'll see why. He's a Belgian international, okay? He's a very exciting winger, okay? So let's talk about him. So Saint Seer, Johan Bakayoko is his name. Brilliant name. 20 years old, born April 20th, 2003. So he's 21 in April. So very young, very, very young. Uh, like I said, Belgian international. I think he's played nine times in Belgium. Uh, contract spires of the summer of 2026. Now, he is a right winger, but he can also play on the left because he's left-footed, okay? When we look at his season this year, so he's played in four different competitions. Obviously, you've got the Dutch League, you've got Champions League, you've got Champions League qualifiers, and the Johan Cruyff Schaal, I think is the cup competition. Don't quote me on that if it's not. 21 games played this season. He's got three goals. Oh, not great. 11 assists. So he's got 14 goal contributions in 21 games, which I think is very solid. Uh, in the league, he's got... 12 games played, two goals, six assists. So eight eight goal contributions through 12 games is very, very solid from a winger. I mean, the Champions League's got uh, a goal and assist in four games. And in the Champions League qualifiers, he got four assists in four games. So plenty there that he's got bags of potential. Honestly, bags of potential, you know, but we are talking, I'd say, about £40 million. And that's why I think this deal... Yes, is dependent Richarlison. If you want to go, look, we're going to buy Richard, we're going to sell Richarlison for 40. We're going to buy back Yoko for 40. Clean slate. Then we look at centre half and go, we could probably afford to get the centre half sorted with just a January transfer fund because you probably, I'd say, need max 30 million. Lloyd Kelly and Caceres. I'd be happy with that centre half situation for January because I think that will cost you about 25 to 30 million between them, which I think is good. By the way, I think if you were to get Bakayoko for what you sell Richarlison for, and you get those two for 30 million, for 30 million, you bought those three players. And I think we've upgraded the team massively for just 30 million. But yeah, I'm really excited by Bakayoko. I think there's plenty, plenty of potential there. Really excited by him. Potentially, dare I say, one of the most exciting talents in the Dutch league at the moment. Now, a lot of you, I know aren't too keen on Dutch players because you don't think they do very well when they come out of uh, come out of Holland. What I would say is there is plenty of players that have come out of Holland who have done very well in other leagues when they've been given time. See Frankie Dion. Big one there. Matthias De Ligt. Gravenberg is doing quite decently at, at Liverpool through limited game time so far, but I think he's been very good at Liverpool. There's plenty. I'm not going to go through them all. And then just lastly on Sebastian Caceres, and this came from Mike McGrath, and he said that Uruguayan centre-half Sebastian Caceres is on the radar of Europe's top club after wins versus Argentina, plus others. Premier League clubs looking at the position, Spurs, Newcastle, Villa, aware of his contract situation, a club America and Mexico with one year left. I, look, he's a, he's a Uruguayan international who I think Spurs are probably heading up the suitors list, top of that list to get him. He's going to cost about five million. Uruguayan international, which by the way, don't knock that. That's decent. Yeah, everyone looks at twenty four and go, oh, that's uh, that's different. He's a Uruguayan international. That's no, that's no easy feat. Okay, one of our best players is Uruguayan international and, uh, and Benton course. So 
you know, and also I think that is a part that you can play into it, you know, bending core, kind of pushing it and poking it and going, come join me, come join me, come join me. I think, like I said, if you were to get him and Lloyd Kelly, 25, 30 million between them, that's not bad. Like I said, if you move on from the Richarlison, you bring in the back of Yoko, you bring in someone that is, excuse me, so similar in funds. You know, when Spurs say we don't have a lot of money to spend, well, you've got 30 million. You definitely do. And to be honest, you'll probably move on from someone else in that time as well. It will free up a few extra quids. You know, we've still got players like Regulon out on loan, which, to be honest, his market's probably gone up a little bit for his performances at United because he's been decent. You could probably sell him for 10 million, maybe 15. Maybe, I don't know, but you probably get 10 million for a, a Regulon, which, you know, that might be in the summer coming, which I have no issues with that in the summer coming because it keep, it adds to a chance for Kitty. But anyway, guys, this is the video. I hope you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. If you did, hit me in the comment section below. Look, you've got Johan Bakayoko, Richarlison swap. Is that something you would do? Obviously, you've got the update around Sebastian Caceres as well. Still something that you want? I know that you'll let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, it's the end of the video. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.